Hello guys, welcome to the Dino Fossils UK YouTube channel. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while, make some videos showing you some of our fossils, answer some of the common questions we get, talk about fossils in general. Um, uh, if you don't know who we are, we're an online fossil store. We've been trading since 2012 and we sell mostly to private collectors. Um, we sell anything from pocket money fossils up to expensive pieces. We do sell to some museums and universities as well, but it is mostly private collectors. And I'm really hoping with this channel we can educate too. Um, a lot of people come to us to purchase fossils for their kids, which is really awesome. Uh, I love the fact that a lot of our fossils are helping to get kids excited about paleontology and natural history. But I also know there's a lot of collectors out there who won't have the funds to purchase some of our more expensive pieces. So it's going to be really nice to show them to you here. And obviously, uh, fossils aren't something that have to be bought online or in a fossil shop. Uh, you can get out there and collect fossils yourself. So that's definitely something I'd like to talk about in future videos too. So let's start the first video with some dinosaur teeth. Uh, if you collect dinosaur fossils, you probably already know what these are. But I'm going to assume you don't know what they are. So uh, all these teeth are from the Kemkem beds. Uh, the Kemkem beds are a series of rock formations found in southeastern Morocco. And they were laid down in the mid-Cretaceous, around 95 million years ago. And they're famous for their dinosaur fossils. Uh, the beds are actually famous for their theropod or meat-eating dinosaur fossils. What's very strange about them is that almost all of the dinosaur fossils found there are from carnivorous dinosaurs. Now that's strange because in any ecosystem, herbivores tend to outnumber carnivores by about 10 to 1. So you'd find that replicated in the fossil record. So if you have some fossil beds with dinosaurs in them, you'll generally find a lot of herbivorous dinosaur fossils and relatively few carnivorous dinosaurs. But that's not the case here. Uh, there are multiple theories as to why that is. It could be the length of time over which the beds were laid down. It could be that the herbivores occupied a different habitat. We really don't know. Um, but yeah, let's have a look through some of these teeth. And let's start with the Spinosaurus dust. So, a lot of people will know of Spinosaurus thanks to Jurassic Park 3. Um, it's one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs known. It could reach lengths of up to roughly 16 meters and it was in a semi-aquatic dinosaur. It's the only known semi-aquatic dinosaur. It may have spent a large portion of its life in the water and it fed mostly on fish. As you can see, its teeth are peg-shaped. They don't have any serrations and they evolved to pierce the flesh of fish and fling them from the water. So his teeth are quite unique amongst theropod dinosaurs. They look very different to most. So just to compare it, another large predator from the Kemkem -Kem beds um, is Carcharodontosaurus. And this is a tusk from a Carcharodontosaurus. Now you might see these for sale online listed as things like African T-Rex. Um, that's mainly just a selling gimmick. It was not closely related to Tyrannosaurus rex, but it did look similar to Tyrannosaurus rex, and it may have actually been larger than T-Rex, uh, but it wasn't as heavy as T-Rex. T-Rex was a more robust, heavily built animal. T-Rex also had thicker teeth than Carcharodontosaurus. T-Rex teeth had evolved to crunch bone, whereas Carcharodontosaurus teeth were adapted to slashing into flesh. So most have this um, blade-like shape, serrations on both sides, unlike the Spinosaurus. So Carcharodontosaurus probably fed on sauropod dinosaurs. It almost certainly fed on other herbivores as well, but we don't know what they are because they're not represented in the beds, unfortunately. Um, there's another tusk, a little bit more robust. They do change in shape depending on their position in the jaw. Uh, here's another nice big blade-shaped tusk. And now on to our third kind of dinosaur. Uh, there are two Abliosaur dinosaurs found in the Kem Kem beds. And they're quite recognizable, these teeth, because they have a straight mesial edge and then a curve on the distal edge. So they have this nice D shape to them. You'll sometimes see these, well actually you'll quite often see them sold as raptor teeth or dromaeosaur teeth. They are not raptor teeth, they are not dromaeosaur teeth. Dromaeosaur teeth are found in the Kemkem -Kem beds, but they're quite rare. 
Um, Ablia swords are not Dromia swords, but they are very cool. Um, but still, a lot to be learned about the Cam Cam beds. It hasn't been studied extensively. Uh, yeah, so there's some of the teeth from the Cam Cam beds. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching our video, and bye!